You should stay in bed. Some monsters are worse than others. Chapter 1. You are here. Although there are many who believe they have the ability to visit the astral plane, the truth is, there are few who can. Most who have such claims are often delusional, dreaming, or completely lying. There are few people in the world, possibly the universe, who harness the ability to leave their physical form and witness the realm between the living and the dead. I myself have only come across a handful of individuals capable of such. I first became aware of this ability when I was in my youth. I've been researching this world and its many facets ever since. It is now in the twilight of my life that I have the knowledge and confidence to compile all that I've learned. It is my prayer that it will be used for the betterment of anyone who consciously finds themselves here undoubtedly looking for answers. I put all of this behind me decades ago. That place, my, my grandpa's book, and, and his mystical crap. Chapter 9 Death From this perspective, I have observed with great humility and awe the passing of many living creatures. From man to beast, the elements have been the same. Our physical bodies are bound to dust, and our souls, once a crucible of energy and light, are liberated. It is comforting to know that our loved ones do not fully depart from our lives. They burn like embers all around us in a great invisible dance. Although the dead may feel very distant at times, know that they are now part of the warmth you feel and the light you see. I want to bury this place. I want to watch it burn. Hi, my name is Chris Bradshaw. This is really embarrassing, but what you're watching is my failed attempts to record myself. I'm no good in front of the camera, but that's okay, because my place is behind the camera. The footage you saw before this is just a sample to give you a basic idea of the look and feel of my new film, Chapter 10. We haven't actually gone into production. First, we need to finish raising the minimum production budget. I spent the last couple years saving up as much cash as possible, but I'm still a little short. Chapter 10 takes place in the present day and the 1980s, which means we get to play in that fun nostalgia period. The story goes like this. Decades after the gruesome murder of his parents, Luke learns of a forgotten inheritance, drawing him back to the secluded cabin where it all began. This rekindles Luke's fragmented memories of that fateful night and unearths new horrors. Don't let our test footage fool you. This isn't one of those indie movies where you watch one guy wander around getting mad at inanimate objects. Our story has a nice ensemble of characters, locations, special effects, and monsters. We have a fantastic cast, including Jared Shipley. Maybe throw in a bucket of chicken or something. I need cash now. Richard Dutcher, Michael Flynn, Adrian Hartwigson, and Chantel Flanders just to name a few. We also have an amazing crew, including Faina Rudgston, who will be creating our monster character. You might have seen her work on the Sci-Fi Channel, 
and some new upcoming content on Crypt TV. We've hired artists like Omega Black and Matt Quayle to create stunning original concepts that will haunt your dreams. For those of you who don't know me, I've been working in the fringes of the film industry for well over a decade, writing, directing, producing, and editing all sorts of content. My first feature film turned series is called Thieves and is streaming now on Amazon Prime. For those of you who do know me, you probably realize that Chapter 10 is a big deal for my career as a filmmaker. I never would have gotten this far without your support, and I need it now more than ever. I don't want to take up too much of your time, so I'll get right into it. Making movies is a lot of fun, and we really want everyone who backs the film to be part of the process. Not only are we giving away cool swag, but we also want all of our contributors to come to the location, be in the final shot of the film, and then party with the cast and crew. I've always loved that quote from John Carpenter. He said, horror is a reaction, it's not a genre, which I agree with completely. I started writing Chapter 10 about three years ago, soon after the passing of my grandparents. It's more than just a ghost story, it's actually very personal to me. It's a reaction to age and disease possessing and distorting my loved ones, something I know we all have or will face at some time in our lives. Thank you for taking the time to watch, and even if you don't have the money to contribute, please take a moment to share this video.